certain event has encouraged children to use their imagination and creativity to explore real-world challenges and develop creative confidence. I'm Ethan, a Little Inventors Ambassador for Paranormal Future South Tyneside and Beyond Challenge. In this challenge, we ask young people in schools and libraries across South Tyneside to invent something that creates renewable energy by harnessing power from wind or any other type of movement. I think it's quite rare that young people's ideas are taken seriously by adults. What's great about this particular project is that we work with skilled adult makers and architects or designers to take seriously the, the young person's idea, invite them into their studios and workshops so the young people get an experience of seeing what is possible. So it, this is really good for careers, for future careers to inspire children to see that there's much more than being a footballer. So it opens the doors to children's possibilities. Hundreds of brilliant ideas were submitted by schools and the best ones were selected and brought to life by magnificent makers. But how did they come up with such great ideas? Well, with me, it had to be something to do with cars because I'm quite obsessed. So then I was thinking, how can we help the environment? And I was thinking we're generating electricity to, to do something and then I came up with, with that idea. I had a few dreams about it and my mum was like, kept nagging me on about it. <laughs> and then I eventually thought of wind mirrors and it works by the wind spinning the propeller which then produces electricity so that no excess electricity is used in the car. My favourite part of the challenge is announcing the good news to the children. I absolutely love doing that. They're so, so excited. Your idea has been chosen as one of the winners, one of only four winners, to be brought to life. <laughs> How many ways can movement be used to generate renewable energy? Well, a lot, it turns out. Renewable energy is a crucial part to the solution to climate change. South Tyneside Council has teamed up with the new Dogger Bank Wind Farm and Little Inventors to educate young local people on the importance of renewable energy and to tap into their boundless imaginations to find new ways to create more. I think it's really important that we let kids understand that you can be creative and you can invent things in the future, um, but people might not have realised when they were only five years old that that could be something that they do now as an adult. Um, so there's lots of really great opportunities where we should be educating young people that science is really important for the future and that they can have a really long-term green career helping to combat climate change. We want pe young people to be in the best position possible so that they are able to access any careers which are up and coming and they are interested in, but also giving them the confidence and the abilities to be able to do that. Educational STEM programmes like this are a vital part of South Tyneside Council's strategy to encourage new generations of young people to explore careers in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So, how did we decide which ideas to bring to life? So the judging process for this project was very in-depth. We spent a lot of time, we had people from Dogabank Wind Farm and the council and little inventors. And of course, everybody has their own favourites. We like to welcome fantastical ideas. So we've got a turtle crossing the road invention, which actually at the heart of it is very sensible. And we've got this conveyor belt going underneath the, um, the motorway, which is fantastic. And we, we give each part a score, and then we add the scores up. It was so difficult to vote. So we got a little team together with lots of people with different experiences, came up with a shortlist. But even then we weren't very good at that, so we shortlisted more than we were supposed to do because there was just too many good ideas. It means a lot to the children to see their ideas brought to life. They are so ecstatic, some of them can hardly speak. <laughs> uh, so I think it means a lot to them. It's just, it's a rare opportunity to see a, a, something you think is something you're just doing in school, to see that actually adults have taken it seriously and want to work with you. Expert makers work with young people to bring their ideas to life in many different forms. So I specifically like Tommy's invention because it actually addresses a problem that we have about the, uh, the battery storage and, and recharging offshore and you've actually thought about how we could solve that problem. We just absolutely love this idea, we love the fact that you thought really hard about using sun power to power it and how you'd used rainwater for the water inside the building, we thought it was a really great idea um, to use renewable sources. 
So with Little Inventors, you can really see all the different skills that those children are learning because they are talking with practitioners. They're really thinking about the project that they've come up with and thinking about problem solving around that. And it's really good to develop those skills at that kind of age because they are skills that are really great for thinking about careers a little bit further down the line. I think it was um, all about the way that younger people think and they are the future of, of engineering, the future of industry uh, and we need to get on board with their ideas. All six ideas were exhibited at the Word in Cell Shields. This attracted many people to marvel at the imaginations on display. It, it feels crazy. Uh, like, like I sometimes used to dream about something like this and now because it's come to life it's just mad. It's really, it's really helped me because uh, it's got, got, got my imagination and uh, think, thinking uh, and now what, what can I do with other things. It's really, yeah, it's amazing. I'm completely gobsmacked that it's actually been made into a real thing. But um, it's amazing for mine to be actually picked and be made into an animation. I feel a lot more confident in what I share. My dream's coming true, and I've been really, really excited with it all, and it's just been a pleasure. If you have any brilliant new ideas on how to generate renewable energy, send it to us at littleinventors.org, and you too could become a little inventor.